Aquarius, this is Nikki with Nikki's Tarot Unfiltered. I hope that everybody is doing okay out there. I came to bring you guys your general read. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. Um, listen, you guys, I got some energy on this board, Aquarius. We need to talk, okay? But before I do, let me thank my new subscribers. You guys, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate you contributing to the channel the way you have day one. Much love, okay? If you guys are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed um, and you're wondering what is the best way to support this channel, um, that would be to subscribe, you guys. Um, and plus, on top of that, I got some incentive for my verified subscribers. I'm doing a giveaway, okay? Crown Chakra, Crown Chakra Third Eye Crystal. A crystal bracelet or just crystals okay so down in the comment section below okay I need for you to hashtag what you would like to win I'm doing a giveaway okay so if you want the third eye chakra jewelry um, it's actually a third eye chakra crown um, or if you want um, the crystal hashtag crystal hashtag crystal crystal bracelet or hashtag the third eye crystal uh, crystal um, chakra okay third eye chakra crown okay so um if you want any information about me that's going to be located in the description box and this is a general read for the sun sign of aquarius check your ascendant your ascendant your venus and your mars and it should resonate okay so y'all let's get busy okay um i see home and i see travel i see self-love okay i see power couple okay now uh what can i say how do i want to say this what um looks great on the outside is not always great on the inside okay aquarius i do see where there is a serious front going on here okay um when it has to do with home property real estate and residence okay now this could be you could be moving this could mean that you could have bought a home this could mean that you know you're in that field um this could be that um you're doing some renovations to your property um travel is the next okay um vacation honeymoon enjoyment um it, it's right up underneath the self-love okay because i see power couple here and i see self-love but what i see in the reading is i see a lot of deception okay um first of all the reason why i say everything everything that appears to be is not necessarily it because the first um, card you got out is Ten of Coins, okay? That's family. That's love. That's, that's um, you know, um, generating general wealth. You know, that's just like what this says. This is power couple, okay? Um, however, right up underneath there, you got the Nine of Swords. Well, let me know that you guys are somebody is. You or somebody else is in very deep anguish, Okay? Um, can't sleep at night sometimes find yourself by yourself at night okay um wondering and wo wondering worry frustrated okay three of swords is right next to the ten of coins which lets me know that there is a third party situation or a severe heartbreak that has something to do with this here lasting security and stability in home okay but right next to this three of swords okay is the ten of swords okay which is betrayal deep anguish okay so where whereas the three of swords does not always mean third party situations it does mean all the time severe heartbreak okay so below that below the three of swords you got the ace of swords which lets me know that somebody in this situation has ultimate clarity about what's going on okay and so when I came out with the statement in the beginning of the video of what always doesn't, what goes on on the outside doesn't necessarily match the inside. This is the mask that I'm talking about. And really, to be honest with you, I don't see Aquarius where you don't see this. I don't see the high priestess here. Okay. And I don't see anything really other than a lot of pain and enlightenment. Okay. To let me know that this Ten of Coins is being very much so affected by someone who um, doesn't have a problem with giving affection, attention um, to other people, all right? Um, they're flirty, they're, um, and to take it as it resonates, this could be you are the other person, okay? Um, they're flirty, they're, um, you know, they give their attention elsewhere outside of this home, outside of this union, okay? So this is what I have on the board so far. This does not look good. 
you got travel here, okay? Vacation, honeymoon, enjoyment. Now, honeymoon could also, you know, it could speak to loving on yourself, okay? Just because honeymoon, you know, is usually affiliated with marriage and usually affiliated with, you know, um, being with someone, it, you know, with it uh, coming above this self-love card, what it really speaks to me is, is you need to have a vacation yourself. You need to love on yourself. What you would do on a honeymoon with your significant other, you need to be doing with yourself and also enjoying things, people, and places. That is part of self-love. The facade, okay, of this power couple. The facade of you guys having mutual feelings. What people feel, when they look at you, they look at you guys as mutual. They look at you guys on the same page. People that do not know your business, okay? Okay. Like I said, this could be you or someone else, okay? But we are definitely going to clarify, okay? There is some deception going on here, okay? There is. It's a lot of it. Y'all see that? How my cards just lit? Wow. That's because I didn't put it in there correctly. But we're not going to use this deck, y'all, anyway, to clarify. Hold on, Aquarius. Let me get these cards out. Because I got a whole lot of them on the floor, okay? Y'all remember to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Y'all need more room. I think that's what the problem is. Hold on, let me just move this out. I need more room. Okay. Let me grab this one so we can clarify with this one, okay? Yeah. Somebody is, somebody has been betrayed, Okay. That has to, everything to do with this family, okay? This home, all right? Somebody may have went off and traveled, okay? Somebody may be in a third-party uh, third party situation with somebody who they do have mutual feelings for. It could go like that, too, okay? But what it looks like to me is it's more of a mask. It's more of a facade, okay? It looks like this power couple who is enjoying this ten of coins really got a lot of shit that go on in the inside that other people don't know about. That's what it looks like, okay? Or it could be somebody in a third party situation to where is where somebody got to travel to go see them. Okay? And while they traveling, they're having enjoyment. They're having vacation and they're having a honeymoon type of situation going on. It could be like that to y'all. Take what resonates, y'all. All right, so, Holy Spirit, I need this Ten of Coins, please, for Aquarius. Dang, y'all way back here. Whew. Somebody doesn't want to let go. There's a lot of memories here, okay? There's a lot of coming up together here. There's a lot of teamwork together in this ten of um, coins situation with this person, okay? Give me more. It's almost like the question is, is do I continue to wear the mask of what's going on inside of my household or do I walk away? And it doesn't look like nobody's walking away. It looks like the mask is what's taking over. Okay? Yeah. Because somebody loves somebody here. There is mutual love here, okay? There is mutual love in this ten of coins situation, in this family, in this come up, okay? In this we on the same page. There is love here. However, there is also um, deception here, okay? Or what I can say is, is there is somebody here that wants it to be love, okay? That could be it too. Give me more on this ten of coins. There we go. Somebody is a player here. We got the king. We got the king of wands on the board. Somebody's a player in this union, y'all. Give me the three of swords, Holy Spirit. This brings somebody happiness to cheat. The, the sun is clarifying the three of fucking swords. Excuse me, y'all. I'm trying not to cuss, y'all. Sorry, Gina. Listen. The sun is clarifying the three of swords, all right? So there is someone in this union, this here player right here, okay? This one is having fun in a third-party situation, okay? While the other one, okay, is 
in a nine of swords, and then in a ten of swords. We all know what comes after that, right, y'all? The tower, right? Give me more on the star party situation. This is bringing them happiness, okay? They're walking in that direction. They're constantly and consciously walking in that direction with this three of wands. Three of wands also confirms star party, okay? More. This person may be receiving karma for this, or a Libra may be involved. But see, the thing about it, remember I told you that it's like, what goes on on the outside doesn't necessarily match the inside. See, this is somebody's nine of cups, all right? This is somebody's wish granted, um, comfort, comfortability. Okay, it's not nine of cups, which would be ultimate fulfillment in love. What this is, is comfort and comfortability. It's almost like I'd rather be with you because of how comfortable I am. Okay, whoever that is, rather as you or them. I'd rather be with you because of how comfortable I am, not necessarily because I love you. I'm comfortable with you though. Okay, there's comfortability here. Yeah, see, you got the devil up underneath this okay this right here is clarifying your third party all right here you go Aquarius so I don't know if this is you or them okay third party this is their happiness they having fun you see how see how that shit is like that's their passion okay actively walking in that direction okay three of swords three of these three of wands somebody will be getting justice for this okay However, I don't really think that the justice will be coming about as long as this is as long as this nine of uh, this nine of cups is here. All right, because honestly, this nine of cups is somebody's comfort and comfortability. Now, if this nine of cups is not the person who's in this nine and ten of swords comfortability, then yes, the person who got this third party uh, situation going on, this player. They will receive justice, okay? They're tempted by the devil. This is lust. This is sex addiction, okay? This is, you know, person, you know, they feel like they can do that, okay? That's simple, okay? I don't know if this is you or them. But somebody is in the Ten of Swords. But let's go ahead and go to the Nine of Swords first. Because this right here, this right here is I can't, this is right here is I can't sleep at night. I can't get this up off my mind, Okay? This shit hurts. It's bothering me. It's keeping me up. It's nagging me. When I try to go about my day, this shit is in the back of my mind that you got me in this third party ass situation. And then what clarifies that is the five of swords, which lets me know that somebody is ruthless, ruthlessly coming after the other person. Somebody is standing their ground about this. So somebody is not happy. Okay. Give me more on this um, nine of swords before we move over to the ten of swords, Holy Spirit, please. For your people and for your glory. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, this person is thinking. They're in serious ass hermit mode, okay? In other words, they have backed all the way back. They're allowing this behavior to go on. Somebody is allowing this behavior to go on, but they back back. They're in thinking mode. They got the ace of swords, okay? They got clarity. But tell me about this ten of swords, Holy Spirit, please. Somebody's dealing with an arrogant individual. An arrogant individual who... Uh, wastefulness comes to my mind, okay? Wastefulness. Arrogance and wastefulness. Somebody is in the Ten of Swords because of this. They're very reckless and they move very quickly. Yeah, they move very quickly. I mean, you got the not a you got the two freaking you got the two god dang on fastest moving uh cards in the deck when it comes down to leaving you for dead, okay? Or leaving or you leaving them for dead, one or the other. Give me more. 
I love my Aquariuses. I really do. Some of the most important people to me are Aquariuses. This is a burden. Whoever is in this Ten of Swords, whoever is in this anguish, whoever is in this pain, whoever is in this frustration, whoever is the one that's wearing this mask on the outside, like all is well, okay, is the one that is about to be putting these burdens down. Somebody's getting tired here. You got Ten of Wands. That's burdening, okay? But it also speaks to putting it down, okay? Yeah, because it's stuff that they can't see, but it's stuff that will be illuminated, okay? Let's get up off of that. Um, let me see what you, Ace of Swords, somebody knows something here. Some clarity has come in somebody's, somebody is very optimistic about the future, okay? Rather that future will, is got to do with the self-love or rather this future got to do with this power couple, okay? Give me more information. Ace of Swords. Death is going to come to that situation. Okay. You got, See, think about it. Somebody here is optimistic. With this Ace of Swords and this Wheel of Fortune, somebody is optimistic that things will turn out in like the best, the best light, right? The best way possible. Death is clarifying this, okay? So what this is saying is that no, it's not. No, it's not going to turn out in the best way possible, okay? Or something is being transformed. This card says never um, necessary ending, okay? Necessary ending. That's what this card says, Aquarius, okay? So I don't know if this is you or them, okay? Give me more information on this Ace of Swords. Somebody knows that it needs to be a necessary ending. Too much friction conflict, too much beef in here. Too much arguing, too much not being on the same page, all in the name of home, all in the name of Ten of Pentacles, okay? Somebody is trying hard. Somebody wants to leave. Okay, let's see what Nine of Cups is doing because Nine of Cups is bringing love to somebody, okay? I think it got something to do with this player here, okay? I don't know if he was them, whatever. Okay, this is an arrogant individual. This person wants to win at all costs. Person is a very flirtatious person. This person sells people dreams. I mean, it's a bon the Knight of Cups is bona fide. But look, you got Ten of Swords is clarifying that, okay? So this person is arrogant. This person is spreading their love around. And by doing that, they're deceiving people, okay? And they're, they're, they keep on putting somebody or people in deep anguish, deep pain, betrayal, left for dead, okay? The only thing I don't see is a damn tower. Give me this um, Knight of Cups. Whew. I told you this is exciting to this person, okay? This person likes living recklessly. Somebody knows this about somebody. Somebody got a message to give somebody. Aquarius. There we go with the Knight of Cups again, okay? This person is a player, all right? So this person who lives at home, who is a power couple because of this Ten of Coins, you guys do have that, okay, um, is a player, okay, period. You got the King of Wands, you got the King of Wands, you got the Knight of Wands, you got the God dang on um, the Knight of Cups, with the Six of Wands, with the Ten of Swords, okay? Wants to bring you a message, wants to bring you a message of what? This person is bringing their love to everybody, okay? You know, that's what it look like. Whoever is the one that's up at night, this is you. If you're the one that's up at night and you're, you know, really, really, really reliving this bullshit, this stuff that this person has put you in and... You're in hermit mode right now, okay? Somebody or will be. And I believe what that hermit mode is, is this self-love, okay? I think that's what that is, all right? Yeah, you guys got it together, okay? You do. You got 10 of coins together. But what you don't got is you don't got loyalty. That's what you don't have, okay? 
so I don't know if this is you or them, but Aquarius, I hope that this helps you. And, uh, you know, let me give you a self-edification card because I know these type of things can be very difficult. You know, my heart goes out to whoever is going through this. You know, but what Holy Spirit wants you to know is, is engage in self-love. Okay? Self-love. This person could be um, dealing with somebody at a distance, you guys. Um, this person could go on vacations with somebody or you could go on vacation with them. Okay? Yeah. And maybe when you guys travel, everything seems to be a-okay. You know? I don't know. Holy Spirit, give me Aquarius an edification card for their highest good. Tie this together, Lord. Doesn't look right, doesn't feel right, y'all. Somebody is going through hell and laughing. Sundress, do it for you, okay? Self-love came up. This is your card, sundress, do it for you, okay? So whatever you do to make yourself feel good, this lady, is she's looking up at the sky, okay? She's almost getting like a ray of sunshine, okay? 41 may mean something to somebody or the number five, okay? But whatever you do, do it for you. Not this individual, do it for you, okay? That's what I got for you, Aquarius. I hope that you guys... You know, enjoy the video, like, share, and subscribe. And remember, in the comments section, um, go ahead and put, you know, what you guys would like in that giveaway. Um, hashtag it, though, okay? Hashtag crown chakra jewelry or uh, crystals or crystal bracelets, okay? And, um, yeah, and I will uh, announce the winners uh, once a month on the, on the community channel, you guys, okay? I love you guys to death, and I will see you soon. Bye, Aquarius.